In this video, I'm going to show you the two best ways how you can auto fit your rows and columns in Excel. The first method is basically you're going to use the quick access toolbar and the second method is the VBA method that I'm going to show you guys as well. Timestamp is going to be down below in the uh, video descriptions. But if you're new to this channel, by the way, welcome to my channel Accelerate. And guys, if you want to, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps a lot with the motivation. And remember to hit that little uh, bell button as well to be notified if I upload any new videos. All right, guys, so let's jump straight into this one. I'm going to go into Excel. So here I am in Excel. So what we usually do is we put in some data and if it overlaps the column here, as you can see in A1, it overlaps and you enter the data. Now it doesn't show very nicely here in the column. So you need to click on it, you double click on the column and now it auto fits uh, that data series. But that takes a lot of time, especially if we're working with a lot of data as well. So I'm here to the rescue. So I'm going to help you guys how to auto fit. Uh, so first method, is the quick access toolbar. So if you follow my little mouse here, I'm gonna go in the top hand ribbon here, as you can see, and there is a little drop down button here, quick access toolbar. I would love you guys to go to more commands here, click on more commands, and here in the first drop down here, where it says popular commands, I want you to click on all commands. So once we've got to all commands, then we just, it's an alphabetical exercise, we're looking for auto fit. So there it is, auto fit column width, there it is. We're going to click on add. And there is auto fit, auto fit row uh, height as well. So add that. And then we just hit OK here at the bottom. Now you will notice in the quick uh, access toolbar here, there's two circles that has been added. And that is exactly what we need. We need that auto fit functionality. So now if we click on it now and we click on a little circle, there it auto fits. So that's a nice shortcut even quicker let's say we've got uh, access here in b and now we want to auto fit we can also hit the magic alt button then it highlights uh, give you options and then in 9 in 10 in my case there is it so if i hit 9 on my keyboard it auto fits so there's a quick nice uh, shortcut using the quick access toolbar so if the height is a problem with the row you just click here on the, the second button here. All right, guys, but now we're working with a lot of data. We can't uh, afford to lose time here. So let's use the second method. The second method is obviously the VBA method. Very nice functionality. So uh, I would like you guys to go and grab cheat sheet number one down below. I left it in the video description. So I'm quickly gonna grab what I've got here in my cheat sheet. So you can see cheat sheet here. And this is just a little piece of code that we need, so you're gonna highlight everything. You can click on it and say Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and now we're gonna go into that uh, developer tab here. So if we want to go into the developer tab, there's the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab open yet, that's a real quick fix. We go to file, we're going to go to options, you're going to go to customize the ribbon and you're going to make sure that your developer tab is ticked on and say okay so that will give you the access to the developer tab nice and easy so what i would like you to guys to go and fetch the macros button here so click on the macros button you will notice there's no macros currently so let's name a new macro we're going to call it auto fit and we're going to create so this will take you straight to the uh, user interface uh, the vba user interface we're going to highlight everything here and we're going to say control C to copy. So that's it. So that's the autofill uh, piece of code. And now very important, I would like you guys to go to cheat sheet number two. Cheat sheet number two in the video description below. I'm going to go quickly go and grab that as well. So cheat sheet number two. And we're going to highlight everything as well. Control A, control C to copy. And now, very important, I'm going to go back to that user interface. In the sheet that we're working with, every time we add a new sheet, we need to add this line of code. So double click on sheet one, click on the interface and control V. Notice the general and the declaration on top. If you hit control V, this means if the worksheet, we're working in the worksheet, changes. So if it changes, then it calls the autofit module. 
So that's the one that we just copied and pasted. So basically that's the quick access toolbar that I've just uh, got the code and we're going to use that for our code. So in sheet one, if we, we can now exit as well. So now in sheet one, so I'm going to go here in A, I'm just going to put in the A, enter, and now the VBA code works perfectly. If you read ABC or ABD, you can see it auto fits it automatically. How awesome is this guys? All right, so just that last tip that I would like you to remember, if we need to have a new sheet, sheet two, and we put in anything in A1, so let's say A1, it's not gonna auto fit because we need to go to developer, go to macros, or we go to Visual Basic, and you will notice sheet, uh, sheet two has been added. So double click on sheet two, and remember cheat sheet number two needs to be pasted here, control V, to call auto fit. So now, if you've do, done that, I'm gonna go to B2 here, and now, if you put in any data, hit enter, it will auto fit everything nicely. How awesome is that, guys? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and just remember, if you're gonna save, we're gonna go to File, Save As, we're going to go to the desktop we need to save it as a macro enabled workbook otherwise it's not going to work so here in excel workbook save as type you need to drop down and go to macro excel macro enabled workbook for it to work perfectly all right guys that's all from my side and i will see you next week guys cheers